we went to supporters and said, what is the most iconic image between the two grounds? And they said, we're the Womble Till I Die Gates. And that was chosen by the fans. The old Plough Lane Stadium had these two blue gates. And after we'd moved out to Sellers Park, somebody scrawled Womble Till I Die, graffitied those two gates. And it became an iconic image of our struggle you know, to bring the club back home to Merton, really, and that we wouldn't lay down and we wouldn't die. You know, a couple of our fans managed to get hold of the gates and preserve them, so they ended up in a builder's yard and then they sat for nearly a quarter of a century. The first piece we did was the Wombles Mosaic. We did a crowdfunding. 5,000 images are on that. Supporters, other clubs, ex-managers, ex-players. You can see all the families and all the people that donated it. And then we went a step further by saying, well, we know where the gates are, and maybe we should bring them back. A guy called Paul Strank, does a local scaffolding company, loads for charity, very kindly brought them back to us and craned them off. What we'd forgotten about was that in the interim period, somebody had painted over the graffiti as historians, we kind of like things as they were. So we painstakingly, with a lot of elbow grease and rubbing and water, removed the paint that was on top of the graffiti. So what you see up there now is the original graffiti, untouched.